as they say, the Anzu, on the Olsen side in Finland's Lapland. But quite a view. Uh, I'm going to become the Christian king of the pirates. Christian Kaisaku Oni, Orevo Naru! For the reference, this is actual Deer Island. It bothered me. Now we're exactly on Deer Island. This is Olsen view, Olsen side view on Finland's Lapland on Deer Island. Haven't seen any deers, but a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of, uh, well, I guess it's a lot of island. There small island but a lot of motion for a guy who hasn't lived like six minutes walk from the ocean side nice a pirate in 2020 or uh, yes yes Thank you for witnessing the ocean of Lapland with me. Rolling around a little bit here. Just like a Okay. All that one piece man needs. All that one piece fan needs is an ocean side. Here I can start my journey to become the Christian King of the Pirates. Yes, thank you. Just one thing I forgot. Yeah, I do have eyes. Uh, I'm not forced to wear my sunglasses outside. Since uh, there isn't any harsh light and I'm medicated against uh, the pain that comes from uh, light, <laughs> light from the sun. So here's me in the daylight. This is my monkey little fish scar, purely medical. I didn't fight for it. Got it made on uh, by doctors. Please, <laughs> sorry, sorry, <laughs> chirurgi, chirurgical procedure. <laughs> Very easy to pronounce. If you know the background. And yeah, eyes are there. I think they are green. Very fine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, minor miracles. As I was thinking if I sh should go really <laughs> to the ocean side, I was watching Naruto. Since I had left that uh, series uh, unwatched at the end and my Russian slash Finnish friend said to watch it to end and I just watched uh, like uh, one of the final episodes where Orochimaru goes to an island with uh, Sasuke and now there is like a snake on the pole <laughs> yeah small miracles Hello Orochimaru, one of my favorite characters from Naruto. Yeah. Great time. Hello, I got back home. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I need... Oh my god, my notes. <laughs> my few notes. Um, so this is all impro, I got few words. Like, uh, how many? One, two. Eight. 
eight, uh, well, uh, not sentences, but words uh, and sentences. So, not really much, so. It's pretty much impro, just to keep my mind like uh, going straight how I want this video to go. So uh, I'm back from my little hop on the ocean side. That was Deer Island on the ocean side of Finland's Lapland. It's like six minutes uh, from where I live. So I'm almost living like an ocean side uh, dream. But uh, I guess I'm owing you an explanation quite a bit uh, about my nickname. It's kind of strange. Well, uh, for the ones uh, I have this unknown eye disease, so my sunglasses are not for show, and there isn't any reason for me to. Uh, like uh, try to hide my ident identity. I'm a single man. I'm a Christian chosen one. A monk, also. So uh, <laughs> and well, uh, well, my parents don't care if I do YouTube. Uh, so, but uh, let's get to the explanation about my mix. So. Uh, well, uh, sunglasses AD Jansu is a straight rip from a uh, One Piece series uh, protagonist's uh, name uh, Straw Hat Monkey D. Luffy. And this, uh, this uh, series is about pirates and, well, uh, even my, uh, my, uh, how do you say it, my, what is this? Uh, and a gimmick bird. I'm going to be the Chris thinking of the pirates. It's a straight rip from that show. <laughs> Since uh, Mongiri Luffy wants to become the king of the pirates and to become the most freest man on the oceans. And what is uh, like pulling me towards One Piece, particularly? Well, it's the pirate team. It's the character of Monkey the Luffy, and even before I watched anime, uh, I thought that like the world government that is portrayed in the anime is real. <laughs> A One Piece is real. That's my fantasy YouTube. So uh, treat this as shots. So. What like people like uh, Alex Jones have talked about world government, uh, world order, and shots. Uh, I know these things, and I've believed in these things, and I think many people believe in these things nowadays. Alex Jones has told us everything we need to know. He's a Christian like me. I believe him. But I'd rather talk about world government than uh, like uh, world order. And I also believe that Satan is ruling this world government that is not part of the One Piece uh, war, but uh, it's part of my fantasy YouTube. So, uh, yeah. Um, like, talking about fantasy, I've been like a fan of pirates since I was a kid. Uh, my parents, uh, like, uh, uh, when one of our, like, uh, well, not a straight neighbor, but, uh, like, how would you say, there was like this, uh, where I live, was born, well, not born, but I was born near there, but where my uh, yeah, youngest sister was born, that house, it was made of like this circular uh, new road that was made in the middle of forest, so there were a lot of like families with children who 
built their uh, houses at the same time, so everyone knew everyone. So everyone thought that we were neighbors, like the whole circle, circle road that neighbors. And all the kids knew each other. So, uh, yeah. And my, uh, one of these, uh, neighbors, so to say, had, like, a, a costume party for, uh, kids. So, uh, my mother and father asked me what she wanted to wear for this party. But me, I, they were contacting parents first, of course, and... I didn't want to, uh, like, uh, make impossible, uh, requests from my mother and father. So, I was in really, really into this, uh, children's show called Sandakan. And if I remember the name correctly, if I do not, I will put it in the description, but the show is based on a book, uh, quite an old book, I won't be guessing that, like the uh, other years, if uh, 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 like, um, if I had to guess it was something like 15, zero, zero something, but uh, yeah, so quite old book, not the modern one, and if I remember it correctly, it was Emilio Sangrini who wrote it. Uh, it was called the Sandokan, the Tiger of Malaysia. It uh, had like a animation that it was made in like a cartoon characters that were animals, so Sandokan actually was uh, like a uh, like a tiger in that animation and but uh, there was like one dog in that uh, all the other crew members were like uh, cats or um, animal I don't know if it was a cat or not but uh, uh, but uh, one was a dog, so I kind of wanted to be that dog, and in the actual uh, books that character is uh, like a European character, uh, part of Sandokan's pirate crew. So Sandokan is like an Indian guy, he's a rightful Maharaja who has been like a I think this was also uh, like a European character that uh, took the throne called Brook. And there is also a Brook in One Piece, the skeletal musician of the, uh, the Straw Pirates. But uh, quite a coincidence, or uh, since the uh, uh, Brook kind of represents the European swordsman as he has a rapier style um, swordmanship and he has he had he's a, he has a king's word yeah so uh, I wanted to be that dog uh, but uh, it, it's more relatable than the cats to me, <laughs> uh, but uh, the dog had like a. Um, it looked like a brown leather jacket, but uh, I guess it was a shirt. But uh, I, for some reason, I thought it was leather uh, as a child, so I knew that I was so small that there is it. <laughs> leather jackets that fit me uh, and they would be extremely expensive so I have to tell you that my father bought me uh, like uh, 
brown uh, leather jacket when I was like a young adult I asked him I've been found like a lot of uh, like leather jackets cheap um, like some store I don't know they were outside of the store and I just saw one that I liked but uh, I chose to go as a sandrican to this uh, children's costume party and uh, well, uh, it was quite a easy task but I thought it would be really hard for my parents since sandrican had like a what's it called a wrap around his head like a turban yeah tur turban and the turban had like a uh, like a uh, red turban that had like a blue, blue jewel here on the forehead like a white shirt and I don't remember blue uh, yeah blue uh, pants so my parents did a wonderful job they have like found the right color for the pants like a uh, proper uh, I don't remember was it actually white or was it like just <laughs> but it doesn't matter if it was, if it was a white shirt or a, like a blue shirt it may have been that Sandigan had, had full blue like oh was it a blue blue shirt and white trousers yeah that's how it was but what I was most impressed with was that my father took the time to actually like uh, cut uh, like uh, I don't know where he got that piece of plastic uh, and he cut the piece of plastic uh, to the shape of uh, like, uh, like a gem and I was so proud of that and then came the horrific truth that uh, we didn't have like sabers Heard, so are you using sabers in that uh, series? One cat. Yeah, well, it's not a tiger. I don't know what kind of cat, big cat, this, big cat that is, but uses like uh, um, stuff. But uh, most of them use sabers. And so my father. <laughs> My mother gave like my younger brother dressed as Zorro. Uh, Zorro is also a character in One Piece, like uh, second strongest from the main character in Straw Hat Pirates Crew. Uh, but uh, I was handed uh, like a, a Zorro sword, a rapier. But I remember as a child, I even thought that uh, like uh, pirates are like so free that you can even use a uh, like rapier that doesn't matter since pirate can do anything he wants. Yeah, my parents took a picture of that tonight. I had that picture for the longest time on my wall. I lost that picture. That's a long story, but uh, <laughs> I can just uh, say it shortly. I, uh, I I was evicted from my house since uh, for some reasons uh, I had a couple of. Uh, it was my first house and. And I was on welfare since I'm a school dropout and at that time you had to, you couldn't use internet, you had to bring every, like, uh, uh, every bill to the, uh, like, uh, every month to the uh, government's, uh, like, uh, social, uh, like, social service center so uh, I forgot a couple of the bills uh, to, and to bring there and 
and I was like uh, living on government's uh, like own properties, and they wouldn't <laughs> they let me pay those one uh, uh, that I, like afterwards. They were really harsh, wanted to evict me, and one of my friends, current friends, uh, said that uh, they can't evict you if you say that. I won't leave, that you get like one month after that time to leave and when I stayed at the house even if I was going to be evicted and when they like came knocking I was like I'm not gonna leave <laughs> and then they said okay we will come with police and okay they buried the police and I needed to <laughs> leave instantly like to live with my parents, uh, I haven't, of course, I hadn't like any plan to live anywhere else, and I just had some time. As the police were like staring at me to gather some of my stuff, so I took some clothes and my computer and like the childhood picture of me and my brother <laughs> remain at that house. Um, they charge like a thousand euros for uh, cleaning it up. Like, uh, I guess that was kind of profitable for them, but I never paid anything. <laughs> okay, let's go on. So, I, still, I didn't know much about the anime. I didn't watch anime when uh, like Pirates of the Caribbean game, like. Jack Sparrow was the coolest thing ever to me. I, I loved every one of those movies. Uh, even if Jack Sparrow's real life counterpart, Jack Birdie, was uh, quite far from the original. Since uh, if you look closely, you, you know that Jack Sparrow has one of, uh, on one of his threads, he has a coin. If you uh, zoom to that coin, it has a muslin symbol of the moon. I don't know if, if there was, is there some stars or something? But still, the muslin symbol of moon and Jack Birdie was like a. Well, Sparrow is a bird and Jack Birdie. You can get the idea where the name came from. Jack Bird in reality was, he was not like a handsome Rasta, <laughs> no, he was a fat, uh, balding, uh, Muslim man, white convert to Muslim, uh, who was still a drunkard. You shouldn't drink when you're a Muslim, but guess a pirate can do what pirate wants. <laughs> But um, left a quite sour mouth. My uh, left a quite a sour taste on my mouth after I knew that about Jack Sparrow and saw the coin having like Muslim symbols. And I'm a Christian, so <laughs> I don't think of much about Jack Sparrow anymore or Jack Birding. So. Uh, one piece is, uh, I have read a few uh, mangas like here in Finland and I was uh, like, um, before that I watched only uh, like Dragon Ball Z and I was going to quit at that, I didn't want to become like a nerdy otaku. And, but, well, my friend showed me, actually showed me, a former friend showed me the battle between Whitebeard and Blackbeard. The one where the One Piece's real meme comes from, the, like, the most big one of the most epic uh, scenes in uh, One Piece anime and I was hooked instantly and 
about these mangas. Uh, so they were like the first mangas of One Piece, and I have like moved from Central Finland here to Lapland, so there are no mangas here on Lapland. They should, they would need to like uh, order them from like bigger cities from Lapland to this smaller city where I'm living in, but uh, I have not wanted to do that. Uh, since I live kind of, well, not really far from the city, maybe I should order them and read them. But I don't have a bicycle, I don't, I don't want to use the, like, uh, the bus. It's costly. Everything's costly in Finland. Yeah, so, uh... One piece uh, came into my life quite suddenly. Uh, even if the friend who introduced me to it is no longer part, well, and no, well, maybe one friend is like uh, still with me from the uh, after the well, we have actually started to like this is. Half Russian, like Russian, but uh, lived in Finland his whole life. And my younger brother bought the, like the No Man's Sky game, so we have been gaming together, and, but we hadn't talked for years, so kind of came together after I moved here. But uh, I used to go to have a like, sleepover with him, and we would play games and such. Nice guy, you're older than me, but yeah, really wise guy. He got me watching Naruto to the end. <laughs> I had left it at the part where. So uh, now I need to focus. So this one thing that uh, Mr. H. Oda said in those first mangas was that uh, One Piece is. Um, it's, uh, like, um, why it became a pirate anime is, uh, like, uh, inspiration from Vikings. Finnish people are not Vikings, so I can relate pretty much perfectly how uh, a Japanese man who uh, firstly watched as a kid this uh, show called uh, Wiki the small viking, or Wiki the Chisaku viking cool. Sorry about the pronunciation. So, uh, that affected him, and if you look at history, like uh, Japanese were really ferocious pirates, like other Asian people would disguise uh, their flags to be Japanese if they were pirating since uh, well Japanese had the warrior culture uh, really and they had the like the, they were really uh, living up to their name and people would surrender much more easily to Japanese pirates than just Asian pirates so uh, you can see where this came from this pirate team and like uh, I do uh, of course have um, admired Vikings but uh, when, when you are like living in Scandinavia next to Vikings and you are like you have nothing to do with Scandinavia Finnish have migrated here um, like we are. We don't talk the same like language tree that is uh, like uh, all the other Scandinavian countries. Even Germany that has migrated away from Scandinavia, they all speak Germanic languages, and we Finnish speak Finno-Ugric Finno-Ugric language, and 
There are only three, two countries, so only three in the world, Finland and uh, only two that actually speak this Finno Greek language three. So Estonia and Hungary are like our only language relatives. Uh, so What's in the Viking so close and still not being a Viking kind of makes you want to be a Viking, but no. So it's kind of natural to be drawn to Viking, you know, Vikings, but pirates after that. And I even think that pirates lived in a much more interesting era. They're very like uh, primitive firearms, like flintlock pistols and blunderbusses, and so it was not like the uh, biggest guy would win a fight when there were like uh, flintlocks, even if flintlocks could like miss from like one meter away, and like the <laughs> the bullets would fly, we could take the strong winds in the ocean and fly like totally different place where you were aiming at with it. So um, I'm so fanatic about one beast that when I was, I have quit smoking, but when I was quitting smoking, like uh, I actually, it was third time the charm for me. You know, when I quit, quit smoking. Well, first I quit smoking, but I started again. Second time I tried, I thought that I couldn't do it, but uh, it was like a week or two after that the guy who introduced One Piece to me wanted uh, to take uh, me to take up on the challenge that his father had imposed on him, but that uh, his father wanted a challenge to stop quit smoking and they both stayed smoking night and I quit smoking and I, well, uh, of course there was a relapse after that, <laughs> like it's custom to me to relapse and, but I still never wanted to start smoking again, so I quit it for good. But I even saw a dream about like Monkey D. Luffy and Frankie from One Piece series and they were like uh, the dream was for, for it's like short reference. I was in a wooden house that was like perfect for smoking and everyone was smoking and when I went outside I was in snow and there was like jungle in front of me and like uh, on a branch of a, like tr of a tree there were uh, fully animated Luffy and Frankie looking at me and they started to like I know what they meant with their rules like if you want to come to an adventure with us you need to stop smoking and they like started to jump fully animated like the worst uh, center of the jungle away from me. After that, I had no like problems uh, quitting smoking. So one piece made me quit smoking, <laughs> and that is uh, pretty much it. And all I want to say to this end is that uh, my Since I'm a Christian, I, I will go uh, on <laughs> a little bit change it from what uh, it is for in fun piece, but uh, I'm going to become the Christian king of the pirates. Yeah. The Finnish person is the biggest One Piece fan there is. One Piece is real. I believe that. Yeah, is if uh, like Mr. Rachel Oda made one piece in like uh, admiration of Vikings, uh, uh, I watch uh, what, like uh, one piece of course in admiration of the Vikings, but I also 
must a pirate animation as I was a kid so I watched it from the admiration of the pirate so it's kinda strange how like uh, how something shapes uh, like a young Japanese man like an animation and how uh, another kind of animation shapes a young Finnish man and like they end up like loving the same subject from a different viewpoint so uh, I want to bless One Piece and I want to really bless uh, like uh, Mr. H. Roda, his family and his loved ones. So uh, that's about it. So thank you for One Piece and thank you for listening and being with me. Uh, if you want to comment about One Piece or anything else, just throw a comment. I would love to talk and I guess I will uh, quit this video here now so thank you for sticking around goodbye